Well, hello, Sunshine. We're back again. I'm so excited. Destiny Designers University is launching in grand style. I'm bringing to you all the master experts on the planet that I'm blessed to know, to work with, to really be a part of this collective achievement-driven community that all of us are doing our share to make this world a better place. And right now, I get to introduce you to someone that I refer to as my brother from another mother. He is a well-accomplished superstar. He graduated summa, or was it magna cum laude? Or summa, summa, cum, cum laude. summa cum laude. See, I bumped him up. I always bump him up, but that's what I do. You all know me. <laughs> <laughs> summa cum laude. He worked for the top firm on the planet, Price Waterhouse Cooper. He was in real estate. He developed himself as one of the top business individuals on the planet. And then left it all to pursue his dream, to be able to teach, motivate as an author, as a speaker, as a workshop presenter, whatever you need him to do and open his mouth and speak and inspire. That is what he's doing under a platform called Show Up For Your Life. How he's taken his level of excellence in everything that he does to be able to give examples to other people about how they can live a better life. His resume is quite impressive, but what impresses me the most is that he understands that God has given him gifts and talents to share. And he's not stingy. He's sharing it with everyone. He's inviting everyone to the conversation about how you can show up for your life and really make a difference. Because I know who he is behind the wonderful platform. I'm even prouder to know as a man of distinction, the example that he's setting for those who will come after them, after him rather. So, Without further ado, because you see, I can go on and on and on and on about my brother. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the man himself, Mr. Andy Enriquez. Hey, Andy. Hey, hey, how you doing, Dr. Stacy N.C. Grant? So happy, happy to be here with you and all of your magnificent people who are part of the Destiny Designers University. You know, I'm just excited to be here. Well, we're, we're excited to have you. And Andy, I tell you, it's just a joy to know how passionate you are about the work that you do. And everybody that you come in contact with can feel your energy, can feel your spirit, can feel your authenticity around showing up. But Andy, I'm curious, have you always shown up? Or was there a time in your life where you had to kind of figure out that space of really designing your life according to what God has given you? Yes, indeed, Stacey. Let me tell you something. My story, I, I literally did everything that my parents told me to do. And, and you know, I grew up in a Caribbean household. And so it was emphasized, go to school, get a good education. I did that, went to Florida State University, as you said. I got my master's degree in corporate accounting. And I graduated summa cum laude, which is the highest level. And I was so grateful for that. And I studied like crazy for the CPA exam. And like you said, I landed a job with one of the largest professional service firms in the world press what house coopers and so i'm thinking i did everything that i was told to do but lo and behold lo and behold dr stacy nc grant after about three and a half years of working there i tell you i was not showing up and the reason why i wasn't showing up is because i came to the realization that even though I had followed everything that my parents told me to do, I came to the realization that something inside me was saying, Andy, there's got to be more than this. And do you know, I, it was literally like a year and a half, I thought about taking a chance on myself. I thought about designing my own destiny. I thought about taking a chance. I thought about developing this voice that you hear right now and doing the things that I do right now, but I was afraid to do it. And so you could say in many ways, I had I was doing what I was supposed to do, but I, I wasn't quite showing, showing up. And it wasn't until December of 2004, I'm telling you where I finally made the decision to act in spite of the fear, in spite of all the things that are going on. And as you know, you know, one of my favorite quotes is the one that says, you know, when we're talking about having courage by Ambrose Redmond, he says that courage is not the absence of fear, but it's the judgment that the thing that you want is greater than the fear. Mm -hmm. And so at that moment, I decided to design my destiny, like the, the, this very thing that you're helping people do through your designer's destiny, that the university that... It's, it's, I literally at that moment made the decision, like some of the people are going to be doing right now with you, to literally start designing my destiny, to actually show up for my life, 
do the things that are required for me so I can start living out my passion, my gifts, my skills, and my talents. And I'm just so excited that you're you're putting something together that is literally going to transform people's lives, that's going to put them in position to be able to live out their passion, their gifts. And most importantly, if they don't know what they are, that you're going to help them to design it, to identify it, and actually design it, and most importantly, to fulfill their destiny. So I'm just excited. That's my story. And I'm pretty sure some of the people who are listening can identify with it. Maybe they're at that place where they're still trying to figure it out. Well, Andy, I, and that, that's what I appreciate about you. You are willing to share your story because like you said, you did do everything quote unquote right and still found yourself in a situation where you had to make a decision to show up. So for someone that's listening right now and they're saying, Andy, okay, I'm, I'm hearing that story. It sounds like you went through a little transition, but I don't know if I have that same kind of courage that you speak about. What was it that kept you grounded? Where did you go and how did you stay the course and hold the vision even when you weren't sure? Well, I, I tell you one thing, it's, it's important. And now, there's a couple of steps. And so the first thing I would say is you, you've got to make a decision, right? And so uh, here's the thing. If, if you're listening to me right now, if you're listening to Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, trust and believe that there is a plan and a purpose for your life. So there is a destiny in store for you. And there is literally a calling and the calling has your name on it. But the only real question is, are you going to answer the call? Now, here's what's important for you to understand. When you decide to answer the call, as I decided to answer the call in December of 2004, trust and believe that some things are going to happen. Some things are going to start to show up in your life that are designed to pull you away from that thing that you're being called to. And so whatever that thing may be for you, you know, for you, it might be one of those life events, one of those things that, that really distresses you right when you decide. Thing that starts begins to start showing up all of a sudden now when you decide to just sort of move forward on your goals and your dreams and in those moments in those moments and that happened to me when I left corporate America I had what was called sort of like a safety net a safety nest all this money I saved up and unfortunately I made a bad investment and I lost it all mm -hmm. and so the question is how did I stay grounded in that moment and let me tell you something I thought about retreating and going back but I had to make the decision that I was more committed to where I was going than to where I had been. Mm. And so in spite of the fact that I didn't have the, the, the same security that I had at the moment, I had to trust and believe that somehow things were going to work out. And one of the things I would say for those who are listening right now, when you decide to act and move forward and allow Stacy to help you to design your life, understand that there's going to be some obstacles, some things that are going to come up. And when they do come up, just understand that they're a part of the process. And so what you've got to be willing to do is to commit to where it is that you're going as opposed to committing to the old story or the backdrop of wherever it is that you're leaving from. And so that was one of the important key parts, an uh, important lesson I had to learn, Stacey, because let me tell you, when I got hit with, with that situation, I thought about retreating and going back to my career, and, and I would have missed out on the Andy Henriquez that I am right now, but I, I thank God that I was willing to commit and keep the course, and I'm hoping that by some of the people who are part of, the, uh, of, of your university, that they're going to decide to make the commitment even when things begin to show up in their life, because there is a purpose and a calling, and it's by far one of the best things that I did was to keep the course. And so whatever you do, keep the course. Yes, there's going to be some situations. Yes, there's going to be some setbacks, but keep the course. You will make it through. Whatever you're dealing with right now has not come to stay, but it has come to pass. There is a plan. There's a purpose on your life and you've got to push forward. Awesome. Awesome. There's so many hashtags that you just said. I'm trying to catch them all. Hashtag commit to where you're going at Andy Enriquez. Keep the course at Andy Enriquez. Oh, I love. Oh, I'm so excited. This is why I do what I do because we understand this, Andy. We know that lives are being changed daily every time we answer the call on our lives. So I, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for being one of my dearest and closest friends and confidants and just knowing the caliber of individual that you are. So those that are watching and they want to stay connected, how can they just continue to have a conversation with you? They'll be seeing more of you when we do some collaborations together. But for now, if they just want some more on my Andy, how can they connect with you? Well, of course, you know, Stacey, I love to give out gifts. And so one of the things they can do is visit my website. And when they do, uh, they'll receive a free instant, free tele-seminar, tele-seminar that uh, people 
get paid forty seven dollars to attend them for free. So they can do that by simply going to andyhenriquez.com. Now let me spell it out for you. <laughs> First name A N D Y, last name Henriquez, H E N R I. Q-U-E-Z. Once again, that's andyhenriquez.com. When you go there, you'll see a place where you can put in your name and email address. Put your name and email in. You're going to receive a free gift, free message. But most importantly, we're going to be able to build a connection. And hopefully, I'll be able to assist you in showing up for your life. And Stacy, let me just say, I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy that you have, have put this together. You know, the Destiny Designers University, where you can literally help people to be able to chart the course, to be able to plan out and create a vision for themselves that exceeds whatever is going on in their life right now. And I can tell everybody who's watching this right now, you cannot be in some better hands. I know this powerful, powerful woman that you're choosing to align with. She leads absolutely with her heart. She's doing tremendous things. And I cannot begin to emphasize the importance of you making sure that you're being part of a community of like-minded individuals, people who are going in the same direction, people who are seriously serious about doing something some extremely extraordinary things in their life, but most importantly, people who want to design their destiny. I want to leave you with this. Jim Rohn said this. He said that if you don't plan and design your life, then chances are you will fall into somebody else's plans. And But here's what he goes on to say, and here's what's really scary. He said, guess what they have planned for you? Not very much. So it's your responsibility. It's your responsibility to partner up with Dr. Stacy N.C. Grant and make sure that you design your destiny. Do not allow your destiny to fall into the hands of anybody else. I'm so excited. Really looking forward to connecting with all of you. Stacy. love you. Thank you so much. Love you, my brother. Thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because you never know who's up next. Bye-bye for now.